Hello guys, I am Mohammad Shahzad and in this lecture we will see uh, how to drag drop a transfer file from host machine to virtual box uh, machine from your host maybe it's a laptop or it's a server to your virtual box VM machine so uh, just two steps you have to do and it will be very easy uh, I have this uh, one server machine in front of me it's just fresh installed and I want to transfer my .NET framework 4.8 into this machine so the first thing you have to do is install additional guest tools same like uh, VMware uh, tools we installed on virtual machines similar virtual box also have a cd is a built-in uh, exe file inside you have to run when you have created this virtual machine you just go into devices and there is a last option insert guest additional cd image so you will just click on that and then you have to go inside the cd so I will go this computer and I can see here is my virtual box guest additional CD already mounted in my D drive. So I will double click on this and you can see some folders here. So you can run uh, it's a 64 bit or if uh, a 32 bit you have to run this and if 64 bit you have to run this and if you don't know just double click on that and it will start running so i know that my uh, this windows server 2019 uh, is standard evaluation edition is uh, sir 64 bit so i can double click on this file it's an application exe file and it will open a uh, one wizard to install similar like vmware tools you just go next and next just install it will install and same like VMware it will simply ask us to restart so click install <coughs> again on a small window so it's just two three minutes process see it's asking for reboot so we will reboot Let's wait, our machine will be rebooted. It will take a little time than the normal uh, reboot because it's installed some additional tools, virtual box tools on this virtual machine. <coughs> so this was the step one we have mounted the additional guest CD into the virtual machine and remember this is not a separate CD or image or something it's, it's built in inside the virtual box when you have installed the virtual box on your computer it's built in there you just have to click for mount go in devices and then click on additional CD and then go into your my computer or this computer and run the CD with the appropriate file okay so I will put my alt control del inside so I will yeah have entered my password
okay see our server is almost ready so one more thing after uh, this uh, things are installed like tools uh, i will call a virtual box tools on for the vm is installed one more thing you will notice if you just maximize your window and little more time just see it will be maximized see now it's similar like VMware tools when it's installed whenever you do a maximize your window see now it's uh, back to normal size in the virtual box standard size and if I open it will give me a like uh, same like VMware it's a big one okay so first thing you did uh, <clears throat> this installation second step you have to go again into devices go into drag and drop and do bi-directional you can drag and drop the file as well so verify again bi-directional okay so I will give you a very simple way very simple way to transfer a lot of files bigger or smaller so my recommendation is you just create one folder so we'll create in my documents if I go in my my documents our documents so I'll create one folder here and I will call virtual box trans files okay so this is my virtual box files so I will put my one dot um, net framework this is in the same folder I'll copy I'll go into my documents and we have created the folder virtual box transfer file folder I'll go inside and I'll paste here okay so this is our folder now so I'll go back in my virtual box machine here it is you just come into the devices again go to the share folder and share folder settings you have to add a folder here add choose that folder it's in our document virtual box transit files select folder if you want only read only no no need to check anything so you can transfer okay here you go your full virtual transit files are here folder okay so now we will go into our network <coughs> uh, just wait just click here in the folder and go into the network and you can see here vbox server and you can see virtual v box server you can see vbox server transit file that folder is here and my dotnet framework is here i will just copy and i will transfer into my documents in the machine here we go and it's done or uh, you want to bring anything to your uh, other side just copy from here and paste in the transit file like anything so you will take it outside in your local guest documents transit file and you can have it here so you can put the file inside the VM and you can get the file outside the VM just remember these three steps first you go and insert the additional gas CD double click run that from the CD here or if you don't know inside and just run the appropriate file after that come back into devices drag and drop do bi-directional then you come back again into the devices share folder 
click on share folder setting add your folder here when you click add just click on this arrow and others it will pop up your uh, host machines uh, documents select the folder and it will be here and after that okay okay just go in this and click on network and you will have a share folder in vbox server inside and this is your share folder you can dra drag and drop and copy and paste your file back and forth so hopefully you guys like this video very easy very simple and uh, before you close down i will request you to subscribe my channel and uh, hit the bell icon for the upcoming videos regarding IT. And thank you very much for watching my videos. Take care.